So Isle of Madness is finally out, and that means that I can do what I've done for the other story modes, and that is a walkthrough of the master difficulty of the story. And before, I would include links to Legends decks with walkthroughs, and that's where I would include uh, the deck list that I used to beat it, but this time around, we actually have deck codes in the client. So instead, what I will be doing is I will be putting the deck code in the video description, and you can choose to copy this if you want, or if you just wanna watch the video to see uh, how I did it or get an idea, you can build your own deck, that's entirely fine as well. There's plenty of ways to beat these story modes, and anyway, that's my uh, intro, my caveat. This will be the longest intro for the series. The rest of them will be just short reminders, obviously, so let's get started. Uh, right out of the gate, we're starting with the Garden of Swords. Again, this is Master Difficulty. Uh, this is one where you slay the gardener's items to equip them. So I'm using a battle mage deck that has uh, some tools to take advantage of equipping items. It's basically like a item battle mage list. And we're going to use creatures that take advantage of items. And we're also going to use uh, items as well. So this looks fine. Uh, items like Cloak and Dagger are great because you can get multiple triggers and sadly we don't we don't have a lot going on there. The uh, Gate Slayer Axe is kind of nice. Alright, so we're going to be taking a, a bunch of damage right out of the gate. Haha, <laughs> gate. But that's fine because... Time to we're we're going to hopefully either have this trade or we'll wall up. Wow, all right, so uh, Cloak and Dagger is in this list, but drawing this many this early is a bit of a problem because we are actually going to overdraw. And that is really impressive, actually. Oh, and that was, that was one that we really Yo, wanted. Burn to get going. So this is going to equip here and then help us wall up. We're going to go ahead and get a Master Swordsmith down and uh, let's go ahead and buff up his health for now till we can make some trades. When, when we get to trade and give this guard as well, we'll be in a pretty good position here. Gardener of Swords is also a lot of fun in this particular I tend the sharpest looking lawn in these aisles. match, and you'll see why. I don't just know how to make them. And just because we want to do our best here, let's go ahead and cloak this so that this goes uh, high up as well. And just like that, we have for the most part, stabilized. Um, was a little bit hairy there for a moment, but we should be able to ride the rest of this out pretty effectively now. Oh, I mean, we definitely will with another gardener. It's kind of an insane draw. You best stay on the marked path. And My own we'll go ahead and get this because we very much want to get that out of the way. I don't just know how to make them. Let's get this trade here. The Let's grass. get this trade. And... Let's throw a cloak here just to be safe. And why not a dagger here? Just to make best use of our items. And we should be able to start pushing for for a lethal now. We're pretty close to it. You'll burn. We'll go ahead and take this. We'll take a couple more trades. On I don't just know how to make them. the non gardeners. Hmm. Let's 
also do this. Just kind of spread this out a bit. And we should be at the point now where we can... If we don't hit any uh, prophecies that stop us. And I don't think that there are. Just uh, to hit this. And there you have it. So... Uh, Gardner has made it really, really easy, but the, the point of this particular list is that it uses a lot of creatures that want items on them, so then you uh, fight for control of the board by killing the enemy items, and then when they equip on your creatures, you get big bonuses. And in case you didn't notice, Gardner makes it very, very easy, so uh, hopefully this helps you. Thanks for watching, and until next time, may you walk on warm sands.